After the frankly brilliant Dell XPS 13 Ultrabook effort, this is now the second Ultrabook from the Dell range, again in the XPS series, this is the Dell XPS 14. Couple of changes over the XPS 13, as the name itself clearly suggests, that one had a 13 inch display, this has a 14 inch display. The previous edition Ultrabook had aluminium, magnesium and carbon fiber on the chassis. This one has aluminium, magnesium and silicon on the chassis. We'll, we'll give you the details and an example of what the wear is and how this Ultrabook feels. What we have is the mid-range Ultrabook from the trio of XPS 14 uh, versions that Dell has launched in India. This one is box priced at about 85,000 rupees. This is powered by a Core i5 processor 3317U, the same one that we saw on the Samsung Series 5, the Sony YoT and even the HP N4. This comes with 4 gigs of RAM, however the mid-range version has a 500 gig hard drive and not an SSD which is solely in the top of the line version which is costing well above a lakh of rupees. Straight out of the box, on the top of this laptop what you see for the first time is the brushed metal finish. This is very reminiscent of the XPS 13, that same look has been carried forward here as well. Absolutely classy, yet feels very different. This laptop is one of those which will fit in very well even with the business crowd, with the college going crowd, as well as somebody who wants a very stylish laptop. Let's just run you through some of the other design elements, the port placement etc. On this side, this is the major area for all the ports. You have your Ethernet port here, you have your HDMI out and a couple of USB ports as well as a mini display out. On the front you have just one big LED. This shows you the power status, the status of the laptop. Currently it's in standby mode, sleep mode as you call it. The light is flashing. If the laptop once you connect it to the charger it's going to show a red light till the time the charging completes for example. On this side of the laptop is the 3.5mm port, absolutely nothing on the back, perfectly clear here. So, well, it's not surprising but when you keep this laptop down and you look at it for like a minute or two, you kind of feel that it looks like the MacBook Pro 13. Not that it's a bad thing, it's a very good thing. But why we think that and why we kind of imagine it's in MacBook Pro 13 is because it has the exact same thickness at the back as well as the front. Nice design elements to it. Let's open it up. This is completely different from what we had seen on the outside. This is the magnesium finish. That was aluminium, this is magnesium. The rubberized finish here, it's got a very soft feel. People call it rubberized. This is the same finish throughout, even between the uh, keyboard. The touchpad gets a very similar feel, not exactly like this, but a slightly lighter color. The left and right click keys are integrated on the touchpad. The only little niggle that we could see was the area for the right and the left click keys is very close to the edge. So ideally it won't work here, usually. It's perfect if you press it around here. The keyboard. We've received some uh, mixed opinions about this. Personally, I find it a little flat. The keys are a little flat. However, having said that, once you get used to this keyboard layout, it's going to be very comfortable to use. You can type out documents quickly. There's enough key travel and it just has a very solid sound to it the moment you're pressing a key. This is the power key here. Nicely blending in with the black finish. Running around the laptop is a silver uh, band. Not that you can really notice the difference here, but the moment you open it up, it is blending in very well with the black color. A tinge of grey here as well around the display. Now, speaking of the display, this 14 inch display has a higher resolution than what you usually see in Ultrabooks. But the most interesting bit is it's a Gorilla Glass display with edge to edge glass. So there's absolutely no need for a plastic or a flimsy looking bezel here. It's edge to edge glass which looks very very classy and very upmarket. The only niggle about this display is it's slightly reflective. You can probably see my shirt on this display at the moment reflecting off it. I'm not really sure if you can see that there. 
but the good thing with that is it can be compensated by increasing the brightness slightly increasing the brightness does not mean that it's going to wash out the colors like it does in certain other displays of certain other ultrabooks overall this display is excellent apart from the little niggle of being slightly reflective this thing does very well you remember we had talked about three different materials that this particular laptop consists of the aluminium the magnesium and the silicon this is the silicon bit the xps 13 had the carbon fiber on the bottom side of the laptop this one is silicon a very nice thick layer here what this essentially does is it absorbs a lot of heat so if you're using this ultrabook on your lap for quite a long time it will inevitably heat up but this area will ensure that the part of the ultrabook that is in contact with your lap will remain perfectly cool we tested this out uh, during our benchmark test when even the fan was running at full speed and it was absolutely comfortable to keep on the lap this area with the silicon strip was absolutely absolutely cool nice generous lens on this side and on this side this is something we had even praised with the xps 13 the ability to keep cool this one pretty much walks the same path